What's up everybody, Jason Page here. Welcome back to another video. This is just gonna be a quick introduction to a new series that we're putting together with none other than Jason Reinhardt. Jason Reinhardt is known for his creative use of everyday household items in his light painting work, and this series is going to be exactly that. Jason is gonna show you how to incorporate things that you find around the house. We're talking about shoelaces, toothbrushes, cups in your kitchen cabinet, just all kinds of different stuff around the house. He's gonna show you how to incorporate it into your light painting artwork to take an ordinary household item and turn it into extraordinary works of art. Along with this introduction, I wanted to ask a favor of you guys. We want to provide the best light painting photography content in the world. We want this to be as helpful as it possibly can be. And the only way that we're gonna get better is if we hear from you guys, the people that watch these videos. If you have any feedback whatsoever on this video, how we can improve, what you might like to see next time, please do put that in the comment section so that we can learn from you guys. Hopefully you're learning from us, but we also want to learn from you. So please do suggestions, comments, feedback, put it down in the comment section. Without any further ado, Here's Jason's first video of this new series. Hey my friends, I'm really excited to have you here. My name is Jason Reinhardt. I'm a brand ambassador for light painting brushes and coast flashlights. This is my daughter Jasmine. Hi. So in this series of videos, what we're doing is we're taking random household items, even items that we find at the store, and we either create a light painting tool with that item, or we're going to utilize that item in a particular manner in our creativity. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So the first item that we're going to be using in this new series is, I was in the store the other day, and I saw these really cool looking water bottles, this teal and blue. So I got an idea for these, and I'm going to show you exactly what I have in mind. So next it's time to create our light painting tool. We need our water bottle, electrical tape, clear tape, and a pair of scissors. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is peel off any plastic labeling that's on your water bottle. Next step is you're going to want to take your electrical tape, starting at the top of the bottle, and just start wrapping it around. You want to wrap the electrical tape around your water bottle until it looks something similar to this. The next thing that we want to do is add just a little bit of water to the bottle. Something like that for an added effect. Next we want to take our clear tape and tape the top of the bottle to keep the water inside. So some of the other items that we're going to be using with the water bottle is a universal connector from Light Painting Brushes, just fits right over the top of the bottle. Also we're going to be using the light excursion light. We insert it into the universal connector into the water bottle and there we go. We've got the tool that we're going to be using tonight for our light painting. Now that we've built our light painting tool, it's time to go get creative. So here are the images that we created tonight using the water bottle. So me and my daughter Jasmine would like to thank each and every one of you that watched this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And what do we tell them? Get out there and light paint. Now get out there and light paint. Thank you, everyone. 